Alright guys, this is Doc M and we are playing Besiege guys and wow well, man, <laughs> I'm a bit sick, maybe I look a bit pale today, I don't know, I had the flu for two days, thankfully when I get sick it's over super quickly and I rarely get sick, girlfriend had it and yeah, yeah, got it too then, but yeah, as mentioned, I had a bit of fever but I just slept uh, for two days and now I feel better, I've got a bit of a sore throat still and all the good stuff but um, other than that, recovering my friends, uh, no sickness ain't gonna stop me from making the videos, indeed. <laughs> so guys, today in Besiege, which is a really fascinating game for me by now, I want to learn about advanced flight. And um, why not look at one of the most cool, or most coolest, amazing flying machines made by the community. There's a Krapton, but this thing... Um, has some cool innovation and I definitely wanted to show you that. You have to see it if you haven't seen it yet. The Apache Attack Helicopter by Pre Zuma. And I'm gonna link the guy um, in the video description. He has a profile on the Besiege forums. Please go check it out. Uh, credit where credit is due. He came up with some innovative shizzle for this thing. And today we wanna analyze that and yeah, look at it a bit and learn from it and then hopefully evolve our own flying machines from it. So, um, let's quickly check it out. What can this helicopter do? Obviously, you know, it has a heavy load down there and it has a cannon, a bunch of bombs to drop, but um, that's one thing. The other thing is its flight behavior. So, set that bad boy down and as you can see, it's, it's wobbling, it's moving around a bit for whatever reason. Um, I slowed down uh, time to 75% of speed. So, thrust on. If you activate your thruster, you can see the helicopter can barely make it off the ground. Not really make it off the ground. You think, what? It's a crappy machine. No, that's actually amazing. He perfectly balanced it. And then if you change your pitch a bit on your top rotor there, you can actually gain height and you can also go down again and stabilize mid-air pretty much holy crap that is already pretty cool obviously you need to be able to turn um, let me see that was J and L you can see we activate the tail rotors there and give our little helicopter a spin in multiple directions namely two <laughs> left and right that's that it's pretty amazing isn't it um, now Obviously a helicopter needs to be able to bank too. Let's bank a bit. So if you look at it from the front Now let's stabilize it bank Womp bank to this side Bank to that side, you know do this in mid-air. It's good It's uh, for speeding up if you want to fly around corners or curves. Let's let's try to go down a bit and land Yep coming down Okay Stabilizing the flight. Wow, it's really cool. It's easy. You know, I'm holding down throttle all the time. So now, um, what you're interested in, how do you create forward momentum? Well, I and Q gives you a little forward and backward tilt, but you need to make sure to give, you, give yourself some draft and then, you know. Um, okay, let's tilt the rotor a bit. That's done with U and O. And with I, you then move forward and then you, you create your forward momentum. See that? Now we're really going forward, turning a bit, flying around, aiming for a target down there. Pew, cannon shot, drop bombs. <laughs> I mean, that's pretty cool. And even if you stop the rotor and then, you know, drop down a bit, it stabilizes rather quickly. Okay. No! Catastrophe! It's still flying. It's still flying. Drop that last bomb. <laughs> it's still flying. It's so stable. Okay. It is destroyed. So... There's many cool components to this helicopter that makes it, uh, that thing fly. Some of the principle, obvi obviously, we used for our drone we made and we were trying out to build um, with our, yeah, let's say, simple flying machine. This is a bit more advanced, but also not that complicated. I mean, 
if you have the basic rotor the rest is uh, just about balancing your thing out and it takes a while um, you know finding the right weight and um, this thing here is refined to the max really really awesome so amazing work by Presumo um, with that design and yeah let's quickly look at some of the key components and the key component here pretty much is the rotor and that is such a cool principle he um, yeah kind of introduced there you can see we have a bunch of wheels stacked on top of each other here you know and then we have rotors and the lower rotor here actually sits on a normal swivel hinge which is not powered and can spin by itself and we build up its own momentum and that is kind of used to stabilize the whole thing uh, which is really really amazing keep in mind though you see this is like up down and this is left right see how those rotors are set up differently like those are in like to create lift um, because that is actually what creates lift in this machine the main lift is created by this small four rotor blades sitting on top here this is for stabilizing and this is to create pitch to get the thing up and down let's slow down speed a lot set the helicopter down start it off and see how the rotor behaves on top you can see you know the lower portion is spinning yeah against the direction of the top portion and we have obviously an active drive on the middle part really 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 interesting mechanics here and now if you increase the pitch see how how we do that the big wheels the pitch increases and that creates lift in the helicopter really amazing this is pretty much how a real helicopter works man and with those simple parts you have in this game um, already people come up with such uh, complex and amazing designs I'm really fascinated by it and really much respect for this thing yeah and then let's further look at the mecha mechanics spinning obviously is done with the tail I don't know you can see how it comes on we go around the corner and obviously if you wanted to spin the other way around we ob obviously activate the other side how is the pitch created well that is quite obvious you see if you want a pitch or bank those two wheels on the side here come alive you see that's the banking and obviously a forward tilt is created with the tail tail rotor there but also with tilting the top joint there you see that where the rotor is attached to the machine that creates a forward momentum in combination with creating some tilt and this is actually how a real helicopter works I have to say it again and it's pretty pretty dang amazing if you ask me so let's let's try to spin back here and and get a shot off oh I'm pressing the wrong button that could have killed it let's see if I can stabilize it again yeah that should stabilize it okay spinning oh. <laughs> failed so amazing amazing all right another cool contraption here <laughs> that thing is called the flying fish right did he call it like that uh, no the sky fish I had the flying fish <laughs> that was my my airplane I was building um, but this is a really cool concept and I wanted to show that off too this is done by Haladin also known as Haladin Airlines and I will of course also link to his forum um, posts in the yeah, besieged forums really cool job and yeah we've seen a lot of planes in this game but this on this one has some kind of special trick to it and I like it it's kind of wire controlled you can see we have some springs in here or elastic um, you know like contractible springs and actually with those springs you kind of steer the thing a bit you know it's held together by these wings so it's a bit you know wonky and wobbly and yeah he makes use of that and uses these this one here for up this one here for down right and then we also have left and right was it no those are just to hold it together 
here yeah right and left you know by creating tension here you kind of bend it around like that and now let's uh, let's quickly look at it so um, yeah to keep it flying wait I need to you pr need to press oh oh dang nose dive <laughs> um, somehow has the controls reversed but okay so oh why what what is up with the camera I need to need to camera need the camera kind of behind it man I hope they will finally introduce a, like a camera that can track you know behind the behind the thing but in any case so let's go Yep. Oh, dang it. Whoop. Okay, let's go up. See? Now we got this. Up. And, -da -da. and it really moves like a fish. <laughs> Whoop. And we can, of course, also do spiral turns with it. Really crazy stuff. Oh, <laughs> crashed it. And I think he has some more turning functions to it. Let me quickly check. Um, I think P and I are also something here. Let's do a loop. Well, that worked, no problem. Whoa! Oh man, this is so cool. Ooh, where are we going? What's happening? What? <laughs> what happened to it? <laughs> it flew <laughs> it flew into the abyss. But that's a really, really cool principle as well. I mean, basic mechanics, obviously, you know, with these things, um, pressing O, you create thrust. And it also has some more thrust here. I don't even know if all these thrusters are needed, um, but he has them maxed out. And yeah, that's pretty much the only thing uh, the propellers do. All the other thing is by yeah, manipulating the aerodynamical properties of the vehicle by creating some tension with these cables. And I really thought that that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Really, really awesome design idea. Let's try one flight again. Pew, pew. Spin. <laughs> Woo! Oh, dang. It's really reacting quickly to up and down movements. And he has the controls kind of reversed in my opinion. But hey, that's that. Woo! Bam! Cool stuff. Really cool design. So shout outs again to Haladin Airlines. I gladly book a flight with you. I think he has an advanced version of that thing too. Called it the Skyhook. That was also pretty sick. We should check it out. Okay. So... Here we are. This is another one of Haladin, Haladin Airlines. <laughs> um, he called it the Skyhook, I believe. Um, the download, it's only called Transporter. But that thing can actually transport stuff. You can see he got this tail here built in. <laughs> and um, yeah, it has some grabbers and everything. And this thing can also, I think, with P and I, yeah, do some kind of spiraling. And yeah, that shall be interesting. Let's uh, do a little flight and see what it does. We're pulling up, we're pulling up. Oh my god. <laughs> we're taking half of the map with us. Let's drop it. Okay, let's try to arrange the camera a bit behind it. Oh. Tilting, coming back. Wow, amazing. Yep. Really nice flying behavior. Woo! Let's try out P and U, what they do. Let's see? Oh, okay, it's to make this spiral turn. Alright, that's really cool. Let's launch her again. Oh, dang. You have to pull up right away. And go. You're gonna tear off the roof again? No, not this time. Okay. Wow, cool. Okay, P. And I. Yeah, it's for the spiraling. Oh, that's pretty cool. Okay, let's come around. Let's come back. Vroom. What? Do we fly out of the map or what? <laughs> so, very cool. Um, also, an advanced design if you want to try that out. Um, Highly suggest it has really nice uh, flying uh, abilities. You know, it, it it's not complicated to fly that thing. You literally just pull up, 
<laughs> I like that. <laughs> that didn't look so promising, but seriously. Put the thing down and pull up. Pull up, pull up, pull up. Yeah. And off you go. Turn. Fly back, pull up. Oh, it's really, really cool. Man, um, advanced flight is amazing in this game. Good constructions here. I like the idea, you know, using the cables. Something new, something cool. Holy crap, I just barely survived the cuff attack. <laughs> no, <laughs> made it through. Um, <laughs> so guys, here, <laughs> that thing has an inbuilt self-destruct, doesn't it? I see a flamethrower here that can only be self-destruct. Why? <laughs> we have to try it out. But it's a Chinox style flying machine. It's a brand new design. I just saw it on the forums and it's posted by Your Doom 300. I will of course also link to this guy. And yeah, that's a bit of a different principle than the flying machines we saw so far. Um, if you set it down, it will start spinning. You don't have to, you know, give any throttle or something. It will just spin. I mean, you could have an additional control for that if you wanted to. And uh, to create up and downward momentum, you basically tilt your rotor blades here too. Let's slow down the time so we can actually see that in action. You know, pretty cool. Spinning it down. Spinning it up. Wow. This is how we create lift with this machine. And then, if you key, uh, key, uh, key arrows, you pretty much control it. So, forward, you can see the back rotor goes on. And if you want to stabilize it down. And obviously, we also have a turning to the left. Wow, really cool. Look at all these moving parts. Isn't that fascinating? Wow. Put a slow motion on there. Epic music. <laughs> really cool. Time for self-destruct. <laughs> yeah. Wow. <laughs> Pretty amazing. Let's speed up the time again and fly that thing a bit faster. But man, it's also a really cool principle. People come up with so many amazing things here. Okay, I or you. Let's lift and go forward. Increase pitch a bit. Wow, it's so cool. Reacts really nicely to your controls. Oops. If you can fly it. Wow, increase pitch. Get up there. Wow. Oh. And it's relatively stable. Yes. Okay, you made it up here. Wow. So Chinox style. You know, pretty much two rotors or four in this case. And it has this inbuilt self-destruct, which is really cool. <laughs> which kind of, you know... <laughs> freaking rotors go back, go to space. God knows where they're going. Freaking UFOs launched. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, we killed, killed a lot of people. Oh my god. Okay, the wings, bam, finally crash landed too. Wow, so Chinox style, also really cool. Done by Your Doom 300. Oh man, I just saw this in the forums and I have to show you that. Wow, I mean technically, okay, obviously it's a race car, right? It's a f um, McLaren F1 race car done by Indigo. He also has some other cool uh, projects running. I will of course also link to him. And um, yeah, technically it's of course not a flying machine. I mean, but hell, um, race cars and airplanes are pretty close together, aren't they? I mean, aerodynamics play a role. They are freaking fast. Um, lightweight materials is used, so it is definitely related um, for this video and I just wanted to show you that because of the amazing designing aspects with it. Uh, me personally, I like industrial design a lot. You know, this, um, things that look mechanical and industrial are appealing to me and um, yeah, fascinating. Um, and this one here really, really, I don't know, tingled my uh, engineer's senses or so because it looks so cool and has a lot of detail. Look, even it uh, exhaust pipes using cannons here. 
the rear looks real cool and yeah spoiler the tail front spoilers you know even here look at the seat man so freaking cool I mean he has the seat in here and um, let's get a smaller part he has the seat in here and then a grabber as the steering wheel okay that's a bit deadly with the spikes you know played here on the side it's like really well designed looking like a real cool race car especially I like um, the elements here the design elements using the the braces here you kind of give it a, a nice organic shape and here cables are also used and yeah it's freaking amazing man this thing is just so cool as said as mentioned technically not really a flying machine but uh, really amazing um, if I start it up um, we see a lot of lag happening so we need to slow slow down the speed of the game considerably so it's not lagging that hard anymore that is a bit of an issue with the game and if the machines get too complex uh, this contains dozens and dozens of parts um, the engine is not able to handle it yet and you need to slow down time a bit of course this thing can also drive I mean let's give it some forward momentum and we have a steering in here and a cool little gimmick I mean <laughs> wouldn't it be cool if real Formula 1 cars um, had canning shooting out of the back that would kind of give the Formula 1 a new new twist it's become pretty boring lately right a lot of people are complaining about the lack of action in the Formula 1 no chances to overtake and all that stuff so <laughs> why not introduce some cannons that would make it more interesting again but holy crap I just had to show you that in this video as well I find this is one of the coolest looking things like because so much detail work in went into it great props to Indigo man talented guy really awesome really like how it looks and I can't wait what crazy things people can make with more complex part you know I mean we only got these few simple parts yet the game is in early alpha really cheap 699 it is still on steam you know I'm not getting paid to advertise it but I'm really saying guys um, if you you know can spare some bucks and wanna buy a game and have some fun and if you're technically interested I really would suggest checking it out it's worth your money yet it only has those 15 levels yet but they're working on stuff and yeah you can spend countless of hours building things I mean we made many machines already uh, ourselves and now I'm exploring what the community does and I'm just blown away by this amazing amazing stuff really cool and I hope I can get into the community contribute myself after I learned from the masters and evolve an own own style maybe I can also inter interest the zip crowd guys uh, to that so far they really didn't pick it up uh, I need to show JL the, the the Apache helicopter I think he will he will show some interest and the car I know he likes race cars so yeah maybe we can get something going there and uh, start some German engineering together I would really like to do that and, and collab with them on these things too um, it's just always fun so yeah guys down in the comments please let me know what do you want to see in the future do you want to see uh, more um, more flying machines do you want to see catapults that would be uh, some category we could check out you know there is a lot of crazy machines give me a little topic tell me what you want to see you can also give me a challenge and I'll try to maybe come up with machines or something like that give me feedback I'm really happy that you guys like this uh, show I'm enjoying this game um, can't wait uh, what it holds in the future I will keep the episodes rolling and um, let's see what we check out next time really amazed see you thanks for watching leave a like very important in our days again was not that important for a while now YouTube brought that thing back again if you don't like my videos regularly you will not see them in your sub box um, in the past you know I've not been a uh, guy that uh, you know was pushing for the likes so much sometimes I think man you've been a fool because your viewers you know um, are used to you being not so pushy and saying hey come on like 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 um, now I have to remind you guys please always make sure you know spend this time if you want to support my stuff and enjoy my content a bit slap down a like otherwise chances go down that my videos will actually show up in a prominent spot in your subscription feed and you might miss them and I see this effect already you know if I don't remind people um, constantly about liking which is really annoying sometimes for myself I'm really sorry but YouTube changes their policy like like that and what worked yesterday is 
fail the next day. So we gotta adjust. I hope you understand. Make sure to leave a like. Um, I'm out. Bye guys.